What's up guys, it's Ike here. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your workflow in SketchUp by creating proxy files. I'd like to share with you guys what the definition of a proxy is before we begin creating proxies. A proxy can be defined as a replica of the original, basically a low poly replica of the original. So in terms of having very high quality, high polygonal files in your viewport that slow down your viewport, you tend to have low polygonal, low resolution, low file size files. So they help in speeding up your viewport so you have this smooth jittery buttery feel to it. So I'm going to pull up a model I have here. I put in a tree. Yes, this is it. And it's not that it's not that high. You can see my still buttery smooth and everything. But look what happens when I multiply it, let's say by 30. Uh -huh. Copy this in 30 places. See, it's only taking a long time to copy. And guess what I have? I have this very, very annoying loading icon. Let me speed this up. Okay, so we have our 30 trees here. And you can see I'm already getting a bit of lag into the model space. I don't want to think of multiplying these by like 25s or anything on the opposing direction and everything. So you can see we've lost that buttery smoothness. Our frame rate looks like it has dropped if we're playing a game and everything. But just for the purpose of this tutorial, let me just copy like seven of these. This side. You can see it really slows you down in terms of doing anything. And once again, it's still lagging up on oh, no, no lag right this time. So you can see this is what happens when you have a lot of geometry into your model. There are some models you work on that even buildings, you tend to have this really, really weird this and they are caused by either the vegetation in the model, the cars, some of the basic components that you see, but their file sizes are like 90 due to like you want detail. If you want detail in your model and your render, you have to sacrifice file size because you can have low polygonal components in your model and you expect your render to look that pleasing and realistic. So that's another thing. So let me clear up all these dudes except for the one we need. Okay, ah, let's get back to him. So I have this tree here, as you can see, the leaves and everything, they are all modeled in place and everything with materials and suits and so. So what we're going to use to create this proxy file is the V-Ray import proxy or V-Ray scene tool. So simply what we have to do, when you hover over this, it says import a VR mesh ABC or VRC into the project. But now it's this tool we are looking at, export proxy. First off, when you want to create a proxy, you have to export it. And then in the previous models of view, you have to bring it back. But now you have the option of when you export it, it automatically loads up. So let me show you what this does now. I select this plant model now, this tree, sorry. I see export the selected group of components as a VR mesh file. I click this, boom. You can see the export proxy has loaded up. It has the file path, this is the file that we want to uh, save it as the preview type. Now, there are three, refined clustering, face skipping, and vertex clustering. Now, if I were to explain these three, I'll have to bring up some boxes and permit me, save them up. Let me unhide these dudes. All right, let me hide our plant model. Uh, we can't go any further without explaining what those three do and they actually help in getting you the best performance for your system. For the example, now I'm on, I'm on a mid-level system now that Intel i5 on 6 gigs of RAM and I'm able to do a lot because I make use of proxies a lot. People ask me what specs do I use, maybe I use an NVIDIA, maybe 1080 or 2070 maybe with ray tracing but no, I just use basic i5 6 gig RAM. Gets my work done with proxies and so I have to just wait for the render time, that's all. So coming into this, I have these three proxies here and I color these differently to represent the three um, ways or uh, previewing your proxy files. Okay, so I have brown, red, and blue over here. So simply what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this brown box. It's a box, so the proxy won't change, but we're going to still see differences either way. So then we ex click Xbox proxy. We still have our settings here. There's face skipping, refined clustering, and vertex clustering. So we have to pick our file path. I have mine, I want to set it to documents. Then I just created a new folder here. I'll just name it uh, RF. Yeah, 
RF box. So that's the refined listening box. And I save this. And then faces in preview. This is a very, very important part of the proxy. This is basically what gives the proxy its strength in terms of reducing lag. If you have a hundred thousand faces, that's a hundred thousand faces of the particular model will be visible depending on how many faces are on the model. So if the model has maybe polygons 79,000 and you put 100,000, basically you won't see anything or you will still see exactly everything that the model has. But if you reduce this to like 5k to reduce all the faces to 5,000, making it look very weird, but in a way, just still working. So this box just have simply four faces. So I'm going to bring this down to two. And then replace object with proxy. That means we're going to replace this object with the proxy that we've created. And refine clustering. All right. So we export this 90%. Boom. So this is what happens. This is what a proxy file looks like. You can see it just smooth everywhere, all the edges and everything. So now it's it's locked. As you can see, this red bar. So we simply unlock it, and then it's now one whole box. So the outside face and the inside face if we go in yeah so those are the two faces that we created now for the red box we are going to use the face skipping and by the name implies we're going to skip a couple of faces so let's see how that works for us so face skipping changes to two overrides yes uh to change this again come on and so i'll change this up the main system this thing then just rf box but this time we're going to use FS face skipping. Okay, save this, then export. All right, so we asked for two faces and it has given us two faces and it skipped the remain of the faces. So I think that's where the, that's where the name comes from, face skipping. It skips a couple of the faces after breaking it down. So in case you have like a car or anything and you don't want to know that it's a car, just simply pick face skipping. You just have a particular object there and everything and boom skips a particular face or particular faces in it so we have this blue box here and we're going to use the vertex clustering method first off we'll change this again come on all right okay so that's the if this was rf that is vf okay it's pretty tiny actually okay, vf box changes to two uh oh, change to vertex then exports Oh, wow. okay. So these are the differences in the three of them. Now, this is refined clustering. Refined, refined to make something smooth, to make something new, brand new. So you simply smooth out all the edges. Face skipping, skip a couple of faces. Vertex clustering, we know what vertex are. These corners right here, clustering them. Uh, I think it really kind of just like a push pull kind of situation here. It kind of clustered everything, yeah. It's something like this i think that's what the vectors clustering does so that's just basically it for the three of them so now we are going to bring back our um tree our tree dummy back here because this is who actually plays a major part in slowing down my system a lot creating a lot of lag okay so we have this now first i want to duplicate my tree so that you know the difference between the two of them all right so i have to now still a bit jittery you know it's not as smooth as before when it was one so i simply click these again and my estimates if i check nc info of this tree uh no no file no face number of anything so uh yeah but my estimate because of all these leaves is going to be probably more than 100 key so I'm going to look for something as low as 5,000 or 7,000 surely to be able to use this fully. And then I expect proxy. Again, change my goddamn, change my file size or my location. Okay, then 17 mesh. That's why I named the tree as. And then phases in preview. I want 5,000. I want refine clustering. They actually smooth everything. Now, if I use vertex clustering, I'll not know what i'm looking at but i want to be able to know that okay this is a tree actually and 5000 let's pump this up to 65 let's say 65 let's be in the middle between five and seven and then exports due to the model sometimes it takes a long while than the previous one so but that was quick and boom 
we have this so i mean this looks like a paper tree i mean you guys have probably seen this in a lot of tutorials even main sketch of themselves they use proxies in almost all their tutorials and i like that for them because no matter your system once you have a lot of geometry it must slow it down it will slow it down because as you're turning it's trying to constantly graphicalize and constantly render the view you want to look at so with this paper model you're just basically rendering a couple of faces but with this in multiple places you can see that i'm getting closer to the tree it's getting a bit laggy because trying to render each and every leaf uh, okay i'm into the proxy now so now the big question now is if i make this proxy will it render the same way as this absolutely yes because once everything here is set materials everything 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 this is already good to go as a render but for a fact that i'm going to have like multiple of it like maybe 20 or 30 trees of this kind in my model i need this to actually suffice for me like i can copy this in 20 places right oh what happened there okay i can copy this in 20 places right boom okay uh let me copy it again this times 20 All right it's gonna take a while actually but you see my model is way smoother than what it was if you can remember how it was at the beginning with the normal tree the normal tree and then multiple but look at it now it's really actually smooth then if we hide this bad boy hide this guy it's as if there's nothing in the model proxies are are the best they are the best honestly so that's basically how to create a proxy and let me show you for those who uh feel that we kind of lost everything with the um original geometry of this will this render the way it does yes it actually does so let me hit the render button here first of all let me get this out of my view let me bring this dude here okay then put my settings okay, make this custom everything let me turn my face safe frame so i'll be able to focus on just this and then watch the magic happen so as you can see this is actually this tree this is this tree right here and everything is rendering really put a low resolution so i actually get to see everything a bit quicker and stuff but i think i'll change it to interactive so i'll be able to see it's actually moving in the scene and everything as you can see now I'm able to move and it's actually calculating it based on just this proxy so viewer is actually calculating these paper like materials and it's actually transmitting them into that material that we want that we've already set so really really handful i mean if you're arranging all you just have to do is click render your viewport is actually safe but it's going to still put in all the work here and depending on the model you're using I, I wish it's high detail so that you actually get the best out of the proxy because there's no point in using the proxy when you have a low resolution model because it's just basically a waste of time and everything but using it when you need to like in this instance if you have a house and you're surrounded with trees and you use this particular tree model uh, it's be there and everything let me know in the comments what you think about this i mean proxies or not can your system handle everything without proxies i'm sure it may or may not but let me know though and everything so yeah and you can see it's actually the same as the previous one that we had it's the same model but bring this closer and then yeah you can see exactly the same one is a proxy one is not one is a proxy and renders absolutely the same way same material same everything proxies are just the best as always thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know in the comment section any part of this video you didn't get clearly or you want me to further explain or maybe i can i'll know if i can make another video about it or you can hit me up on my social media to have like a one-on-one -on -one discussion where i explain like particular me itty bitty tiny tips about maybe some of the videos i share my social media are below here my facebook and my ig 
you can hit me up on them also follow and most importantly subscribe if you found this really helpful don't forget to share this video subscribe thank you i'll see you in the next one